Welcome back to the RH Farm Rescue Channel, everybody. My name is Grace, and it has come to my attention that we do not even have an introduction video telling you guys all about the rescue and what we do here. So that's going to be what we talk about today. This is Ziggy, he's our newest rescue. He needs a lot of help and he's also our oldest rescue. He's over 30 uh, as far as the best has estimated. Trying to break out, he's feisty for an old guy. So I thought I would just kind of walk around the fields and the property today and show you what we have here and then kind of talk about the rescue and what we do. So first things first, the RH stands for Rescue Haven. I had initially thought to just call it Rescue Haven Farm. And then I thought, okay, well, we need to say it's a, a rescue and then also a stables because we teach lessons and we board here. So we ended up just shortening it to RH Farm Rescue and Stables. The Haven part is sort of what my vision is for here. I wanted it to be a place where horses could feel safe and be in as natural an environment as possible. We try to have really big fields for the horses, um, resource security, food, hay at all times. So there's not fighting and horses don't get anxious waiting for food. It actually helps cure a lot of like little problems like pawing at the gate or food aggression, behaviors like that. So we are on 25 acres here. We initially started on a five acre place in 2020. I had a personal horse and I needed to have some friends for him when I brought him to my own property. So that's where I started with the rescue. We ended up with a little pony named Hiccup and uh, a mare named Freya, who I got out of just a muddy pasture. She had her legs covered in mud sores and needed to have some love and care. She was kind of just left alone for a while. so. Those were our first two rescues. And in the almost four years since we've been going, we've uh, rescued 47 horses to date. And we've helped even more than that with training offsite and consultations. So we try to keep our horses in small groups and rotate pastures to make sure that there's grass for everybody. At any given time, we'll have between eight and 12, maybe sometimes a little bit more than that during the summer rescues. And we also board here as well. So we try to really manage our pastures so that we can provide quality forage and nobody's too overcrowded. So that really helps. We try to just keep the number of horses that we can responsibly care for. We also have two barn cats. Ellie and Punk. Ellie is right here wanting to say hello. They are super friendly and they love to get pet by lesson student parents that are watching or friends that come to the farm. One of the things that I think makes us different from a lot of rescues is that we actually teach lessons on the horses that we rescue. We don't rescue for the program. We tailor the program to the horses that we have at any given time. Horses that are a little bit more physically capable or that we can have time to spend training. I do the majority of the training here. I also have a helper during the summers, Katie Rose, who helps teach and do summer camps with me. But the majority, it's myself retraining these horses and we usually keep them anywhere between three months to sometimes up to two years if they've been in our program for a while. We do want to cycle them out. We don't just keep them as lesson horses forever because it's a lot of work. It's a lot of stress on a horse to be a lesson horse. We only do maybe one lesson per day for each horse, but dealing with riders who are learning and giving miscommunicating cues. And so we never want them to think that that's their future necessarily. So we'll find them a home after they've been in the program for a while. And it also helps them have extra skills 
and makes them more adoptable to a wider range of people. The other part of teaching lessons is that we're creating rescue ambassadors. We want to show exactly what rescue horses are capable of and that just because a horse is 19, 20, 21, even 25, doesn't mean they're used up and useless. We want to show that horses have value even if they are just walk trot and they have arthritis. We can use them to just teach beginners, you know, how to tack up and just gain their balance walking on a horse. They don't need to be in the best of health in order for us to use them as education to teach people about rescue. I, oh, geez. Be nice. <laughs> I see. So through our training and evaluation, we usually find what the horses like or don't like. Some horses would rather just be trail horses and they're not interested in working in an arena. And so those horses would go up for adoption a little bit sooner. And the ones that can tolerate having kids on them, the ones that we can spend more time training them to be kids safe or go in lessons, they'll be with us for a little bit longer. One of the other benefits of having a lesson program here is that it allows us a continuous stream of income, reliable income, whereas donations can come here and there and in times of economic stress, they can be very few. So we wanna make sure that we can help as many horses as possible and we only keep as many as we can care for responsibly, but the lesson program helps us take care of more horses. Everybody that works here, including myself, works basically on a volunteer basis. We have help with community reach out. We have help with feeding, but everyone, including myself, we work mostly on a volunteer basis just so that the most amount of money can go towards taking care of rescuing and retraining these horses. We get horses from a variety of situations. We go to auction sometimes and we'll bid against kill buyers just up to meat price. And we've gotten several of our horses that way. We also accept surrenders. So people who can no longer financially care for a horse or a relative has passed away and they need to rehome anything like that. People are moving. So we get our horses from a variety of circumstances. All of our horses live on what would be called pasture board. We have big fields ranging from one up to four acres, and we try to keep mo no more than three horses in a field depending on the size. They have shelters like this, constant access to hay, water, just so everybody is secure. And I think honestly, it's the best for them and they can just relax and be in as natural environment as possible. So I think that's mostly everything in terms of who we are, what our mission statement is, how we operate. If you have any additional questions, leave them in the comments, I'll try to answer. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you to everybody who's supported us. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, it really helps us. Share our mission, share our channel with people that you think might also enjoy what we're doing. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you in the next one.